You know why the tomato turned red? It saw the salad dressing. <laughs> Online and offline, people are very curious about my ideas on race, what I think it is and how it works and how I perceive it and everything. I have to be honest, I really, I don't think about it. I don't. I mean, for example, I don't think of people being tall or short, right? I just think of them as humans. I think about what they have to say. I think about what they think, you know, how they are to me. I don't care if somebody's six foot 10 or four foot nine. You know what I mean? Just the same way, I don't care what color somebody's skin is. I can't, I can't imagine what that must be like. You know, to have different color skin. It's just not something I really think about too much. I just think about people. And I think about if we have fun together and if we like each other, you know? If somebody makes me laugh, it doesn't matter if they're, you know, tall or fat or skinny or black or green or whatever. I just like them and we have a good time together. Martin Luther King always talked about don't judge a man by the color of his skin, but by the content of his character. And I gotta be honest with you, I think people like myself and other blind people are the best at that because we don't see the color of their skin, right? It's all about content of character. See beauty, I don't know from beauty either. I don't know if you're beautiful or not. You're beautiful to me. If we get along and you make me laugh and you make me smile, you know, you're beautiful to me. We have fun together, right? That's what my beauty is. I get to know somebody to figure out whether or not I like them. I can't just walk by somebody and go, Ugh, I don't like that person because they got yellow, you know, teeth or whatever. I don't, doesn't matter to me. People judge others by a lot of different things. I mean, not only race, they judge people by the clothes that they wear, by the shoes that they wear, by the type of car that they drive. Really? Come on, man. Who cares about that stuff? Although I wouldn't be caught dead in a Chevy Volt. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. You know, I really can't tell race or anything by what somebody says or what somebody does. You know what I mean? I mean, one of the things that I have noticed is that our skin is a little bit different, white people and black people. Black people, I think it is, they, they're more natural moisturizers in their skin. Therefore, their skin is softer than ours. It isn't as coarse as white people's skin. And so when I was young, I happened to notice, like I touched a black person's hair one time and went, wow, what's that? Your hair is completely different than mine and I love it and I want that hair. I said, what is that? Said, well, because I'm black and my hair is a little bit different than yours. And I went, that's so cool, I want that. You know what I mean? Because it's really soft to touch. And that was one of the first times I ever really got to sort of see the difference between like myself and somebody else. You know, that we had a sort of a different thing happening. But I, you know, I wanted it, I didn't hate it. I was like, this is so cool because my hair is very straight. You know, and this was nice and tight and soft and it just felt great. And I, wow, like, I, I think I sat and touched her head for a really long time because I just thought it was so cool. So I guess that's my real first memory of sort of noticing that, wow, you know what? There are some differences in people and it's kind of cool. And I like that. I don't know. Like, I feel like I can't be funny talking about this stuff because it's, it's quite serious. I always wanted to have a party, right? Where no one could see. Now there'd be people to help you, for example, if somebody needed to go to the bathroom or to bring drinks to people and things like this, but none of the guests could see each other and they could just talk to each other. And I think that would be so cool. And you know, like at the end of the night, you, you know, you take off the blindfolds or whatever and let people see who you've been talking to for a few hours. It'd be awesome. Right, because if you close your eyes, it's amazing the things you can hear. I think so. I need somebody with a giant house so we can have this party, so. <laughs> it boggles my mind that we're all different colors. See, inside we're all the same color, aren't we? Right, it's just this stupid skin that gets in the way. And quite frankly, it's vision that can get in the way as well. If we, if we all got rid of the skin, we'd all look the same again. If you don't like me, that's cool, I get it. But don't dislike me because I can't see, 
dislike me because of what I say and what I do, right? My being blind has nothing to do with my character, nothing. Just the same as someone's color, skin color, has nothing to do with their character, nothing at all. It's all about what's in your heart and what's in your head. Those are the only two things that matter to me about a human, really. You know what's funny? M&Ms are different colors, but they all taste the same. It's true. Only the outside parts are different. The inside's all the same. Humanity, just like a bag of M&Ms. You know what you'd call America if everyone had a pink car? Wait for it. A pink car nation. <laughs>